Hi there, it's Lee. Welcome to iMind Blocks. In this one, I'm going to show you a neat little trick to reduce your electricity and the heat output from your graphics cards. So this is a redo of a video that I've done a little while ago. And what I'm going to be showing you is how to actually undervolt your graphics cards. Uh, so like I said, I've already covered it once before, but it's such a neat and useful trick and that I thought it was really worth um, covering again. So you can see on the left hand side we've got the uh, Claymore Dual Ethereum Miner. This is the 9.2 version and we're currently uh, dual mining Ethereum and Decreed. You can see in the sort of uh, cyan colour, blue colour, we've got the two graphics cards. One's at 26 and the other one is just over 28 uh, mega hashes. And they normally both run around about 28 and I'm sure that will kind of uh, pick up um, as, as we go through the course of this video. Uh, also mining Decreed as well. So that's working as it normally would. On the right hand side we've got uh, tricks which is used for overclocking your graphics cards. You can also change the power limit, uh, fan settings and you can also do this neat little thing called undervolting which is what I'm showing you in this video. So in the actual sort of tricks section if I show you the uh, hardware monitor it gives you like a graph or charts of uh, all the various um, aspects of the actual uh, GPUs or well, focusing on the GPU that we're working on or editing. So what I'm trying to say is that it only shows you one GPU at a time. Um, so if we look all the way down the bottom at the moment we can see this GPU only power draw. I'm not sure if I can select it but you can see here. The current sort of uh, wattage that we're using is 138 to 140 watts which is quite a lot for RX 470. So the reason is obviously that we're using dual mining, I've, well, we, I've got the power limit up as well and the card is overclocked, or well, the memory is overclocked. So we're using quite a bit of power. What we really want to do is reduce that power usage so we get better efficiency. And um, the other reason for reducing the actual um, power into it is also we're going to make less heat, so that means uh, less fan noise um, and obviously uh, they're the main benefits. So I'll show you how to do that. What we're going to do is this focusing on this middle section here. And this is where you adjust the actual voltage of the graphics cards. Some people, um, if they're doing serious overclocking, they might increase the voltage, but we're actually going to be undervolting the graphics cards because we want the same performance, but we want to use less electricity and produce less heat. So we've got this uh, little slider. What I'd recommend for you guys, if you reduce your millivolts by, reduce them down by sort of 25 millivolts at a time and then apply it and see what changes you get, see how stable the actual system is. If the system crashes or you get any glitches on the screen, just restart your machine and change it back to the default settings or go up 5 uh, millivolts uh, difference and um, you know retry and retest again. I know with this actual graphics card, from my initial testing, I can go down to about 75 millivolts uh, just from the initial testing. So I'll just let that run just for a second. Um, but what I want to show you is what the actual uh, difference it makes in terms of the actual power usage. So I'll just let it run for a minute and I'll show you once it um, levels out. Okay, so that's just been running for about a minute now with that uh, reduced voltage. So we're now using the minus 75 millivolts, so we've reduced the overall uh, power consumption of the actual graphics card. If we look back at the actual hardware monitor, the chart, we've got the GP only power draw. You can see now it's quite fluctuating, it's fluctuating an awful lot, but you can see the even the peaks, they're only about 115, 116 watt as a peak, and the low points are like 95 watts. Uh, there was a 77 there, so probably on average less than 100 watts. So just for that simple change, uh, we've ju reduced the actual power usage from an average of like 135 watts, uh, now probably in the region of about 100 watts, maybe 105, something like that. So a significant power reduction. But you might also slightly notice the heat that the actual heat in this office is is crazy hot all the time, so it doesn't make a massive difference. Um, but at the start of the actual testing, the uh, Graphics cards was running about 73 Celsius, and now we're down to about 68 degrees Celsius. So just over a, you know, a minute change with a, a very simple, quick and easy to do adjustment. Uh, we've reduced the actual power usage by over 10%, and we've also reduced the actual heat of the actual graphics cards by 5 degrees Celsius. So you can keep playing with that and to tweak it and to get the actual best settings. You can go really extreme. I've heard of other people using it and getting around about 70, uh, 75, 80 watts on their uh, RX uh, 470s. So have a little play with it. Like I say, if it does crash, then just you know restart your machine, start off uh, back where you left off, and just um, do it in five 
uh, millivolts or 25 millivolts and then you know like do a big tune and then a fine tune is uh, that will work uh, best for you um, so just experiment a little bit and see how you get on uh, with those results so that's it for this video hopefully you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys on the next video